Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibits employers from discriminating based on race and national origin. In Teamsters v. United States, the court explained one way a plaintiff can prove that an employer engaged in a pattern or practice of discrimination in violation of Title VII. The United States government sued trucking company Time DC in federal court, alleging that the company discriminated against Hispanic surnamed and black employees in violation of Title VII. The International Brotherhood of Teamsters Labor Union, which represented a large group of Time DC's employees, was joined as a defendant. The government claimed that Time DC had engaged in a pattern or practice of discrimination against minority workers in hiring for desirable line driver positions. The company allegedly hired Hispanic surnamed and black applicants for only lower paying jobs, including service workers or local drivers. The government showed that of the company's roughly 6,400 total employees, 4% had Hispanic surnames and 5% were black. However, of the company's roughly 1,800 line drivers, only 0.3% had Hispanic surnames and 0.4% were black. Moreover, roughly 80% of the company's Hispanic surnamed and black employees worked in lower paying job categories compared to 39% of the company's non-minority employees. The government also presented testimony about more than 40 specific instances of discrimination and showed that prior to 1969, the company had employed only one black line driver on a regular basis. The district court concluded that the company was engaged in an impermissible pattern or practice of discrimination in violation of Title VII. The court awarded injunctive relief and various individual remedies to affected employees. On appeal, the Fifth Circuit agreed that the company had discriminated and disagreed only with the relief awarded by the district court. The United States Supreme Court granted the company's and union's petitions for cert.